Hello folks, uh, my name is Rafael Rodriguez. I'm known as the fourth king of the Three Kings Saga. Uh, you've heard of the uh, Three Musketeers and there's a fourth guy? Well, I'm the fourth guy of the Three Kings. And nobody knows me very well, but it's okay, I'm underground. Either way, the story is about the Three Kings and this guy named Santa Claus. Uh, when I was young with my family, we used to celebrate the Three Kings we get underneath. Uh, we get on the bed. Wake up in the morning, and boom! There was our stuff from the Three Kings, and this went on pretty good for a while, you know. And then, like I don't know, one day my mother and my auntie they took us to the store to talk to Santa Claus on the telephone. Can you believe that shit? On the telephone. So anyway, we go to the store. We start talking on the telephone, and I didn't understand a damn word he said. Honestly, all I could hear was. Ho, 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 ho. I was starting getting mad because I thought he was calling me names. But in either case, <laughs> in either case, you know, we finished up the telephone thing, and then about the next year or so, instead of uh, the camels and stuff like that, we found uh, a brand new television. I mean, this was brand new. Black and white. Beautiful. Uh, and we found a Christmas tree. So then I said, I, kn I knew what was going on. I said, oh, shit, man. Three kings are gone. Santa Claus is in. You know, so, you know, we, we, we did the three kings, the, the Santa Claus, stuff like that. Except that I wasn't too happy about it. You know, I, I said, you know, what's, what's with the Santa Claus do? And then I went down to the, like, the five and ten. And there he is out front with a belt asking for money. I said, what the fuck? I don't think he need any money. He's asking for money, and then later on I see him at Macy's bouncing little kids on his lap, up and down. And my mom used to tell us, don't ever sit on anybody's lap. It's not nice. But hey, the kids were happy, the mamas were happy, so fuck it, right? <laughs> so, so what happens? So then I, I said to myself, I'm, I'm going to find out what the Santa Claus dude is about. I, I don't like him. I just don't trust him, you know? You know asking for money in places like that. But anyway... I found out that his name is not Santa Claus. His name is Santa Claus Inc. As incorporated, as he's the head of a major corporation. That's right. Head of a major corporation. So what happens? I find out also that, you know, he has controlling interests in Toys R Us, um, Jingle Bells, and Christmas trees. You know, like he's, he's all over the place. Right? So that's not the only thing I, you know, I found out. And, and then, you know these little elves, the little elves guys? Um, well, you know, I, I found out that they weren't elves at all. That Santa Claus is a slave owner. They were midget Ethiopians, if you can believe that shit. Midget Ethiopians that he would go to the Far East and trade, trade for them, you know, and, and bring them back, uh, I don't know, to the North Pole, where the fuck he goes. But in either case, Santa Claus is a real mean. Like, the elves, they look nice when they want TV. When they weren't on TV, Santa Claus had them in these raggedy sackcloth clothes that he replaced about once a year. You know, so he really kept them down. So, you know, I, my suspicions about Santa Claus were verified ten times over when I saw that shit. Either case, I later found out that he was brought up on charges for cruelty to animals. That's right. It was said that... Um, he will make the reindeer work like 24 hours at a time, especially during Christmas. So, you know, he was a slave driver. So, but what happened was that this guy named, uh, this reindeer named Rudolph, I think together with, uh, I don't know, Common named Blixen or something like that, they ratted on him. You know, they told on him. But then after that, like, Rudolph disappeared. I never know what happened to him. He was just gone. And besides that, uh, the Child Protection Services also brought him up on charges of sexual abuse. And it has something to do with him bouncing kids on his lap. The guy was nasty. He was pervert, I'm telling you. So they, they but, but like, how is it? The, uh, the American International Authorities, they could not catch him because like, he was gone all over the world. They go over there, he'd be gone, they go over there. So they really couldn't catch him. So he kind of continued, you know, doing that. Santa Claus bit and everything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, some people said that he lived in the projects. 
uh, but that he got kicked out for making too much noise. I don't know how true that is. But in the case, uh, I determined that I was not going to put that Santa Claus farce on my kids. I determined that they were going to be with the three kings. And that's what I did. I, I took my kids to my mother's house. I did, we did the three king story. And the fourth king, which is me, which was like a secret, you know, underground, uh, observed the whole thing and everything. And, you know, they had a good time. Uh, you know, meantime, the people that believed in Santa Claus, they were, they were suffering. They were hurting. And they were hurting mainly because you know, you know, sometimes, you know, like people lose their jobs and stuff like that. And then they don't put enough, like, toys for Santa Claus. So the kids are kind of like, you know, they complain and say, hey, what happened to Santa Claus? What's up with him? It was then that they learned that Santa Claus was a lie. When they were about eight or nine years old, they learned that Santa Claus was a lie. And that was all a big farce. And then, you know, the parents are feeling guilty and all this and that because Santa Claus just screwed them. You know, <laughs> so, so, so we continued to do the, the Three Kings Day stuff, and my, my kids were happy about it, and then later on, uh, my nephews and nieces came into the little story, we would, we would have the story, have a bunch of kids, maybe a few boxes of pizza, and we'd get them some toys, but not your regular Macy's toys, these were dollar store toys, and I loved it. They love that dollar store shit. <laughs> so we would have the toys and they had a good time. And as time went on, I kept on doing it. Then my grandnephews, my grandnieces, and kids from the neighborhood started dropping by and, 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 you know, and all this. And sometimes people would ask, well, what about the Santa Claus dude? I said, fuck him. Basically, I mean, he's not even mentioned in the Bible. You won't see Santa Claus in the good book, but you will see him in the Wall Street books. That's where he's at and that's what he's about. Okay? And with that, unless you have any questions, audience, I'm finished. What about St. Nicholas? Oh, well, 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 check it out, the St. Nicholas stuff, right? You know, Santa Claus was a sneaky motherfucker, all right? Because whenever, for the Catholic people, he was St. Nicholas. Uh, for the German people, he was Chris Kringle. Um, you know, for the, uh, for the English people, he was Father Christmas. And for the Spanish-speaking people, he was Papa Noel. And that way, you know, but he didn't, he didn't do Africa and Asia, all right? He didn't do Africa and Asia because, you know, basically he was a racist, you know, down to it. Because what, what if, you ever, if you ever noticed, when all the little white kids open up Santa Claus shit, they got all kinds of stuff, man. Goodies, clothes, everything, when, you know, when the little white kids. But when the little black kids and brown kids open up their Santa Claus shit, they got... A couple pair of pants and a toy. Now that ain't right. You think that? You think that's right? Santa Claus be doing that, favoring this group over that group. So, like in Asia and Africa, they don't they don't do Santa Claus because they know he's a, you know, bullshit motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> and well, unless you have any further questions, but I thought I explained that about that you know racism stuff. It is true. And by the way, folks, all I said is true. You can look it up on the internet, on the Encarta. You know, encyclopedia. Oh, I know that Carter's kind of like old, oh, but you know what I'm saying. Look it up any way you want. You'll see that he used midget Ethiopians. He abused reindeer, and he was a goddamn pervert. <laughs>